Welcome back to SVOR uh, for round six around Monaco. Um, got quite a small lobby today, so we will be skipping Q1 and going into straight into Q2. So we won't be interviewing anyone. Uh, so tonight's commentary box, you know, you've got myself as always, SV Gorilla, and SV Diehard obviously wasn't here last week. We had Haynes, uh, but he can't make it. So yeah, we've got the American. Um, the only American in our is also a part of SV, so if you would like to say hello. Pleasure to join you tonight. Looking forward to a good race. You have got your part included, haven't you? Yes. Good boy. Everyone forgets sometimes, so I, I think we need to message Dan that we're starting because I don't think he actually knows. Oh, yes, he does. Um, so, obviously, everyone has to. Oh, we've got Ooh, the it's... qualifying. <laughs> I'll spice things up nicely. So, um, obviously, we will be skipping Q1, uh, for obvious reasons. Obviously, we've only got the 14 drivers. Please come in and put this set up on. It'll be, uh, very interesting. Um, obviously, Monaco arguably the hardest race in the calendar. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure how your take of things around Monaco. Obviously, you will be doing it next week in DRL, so. Yeah, I mean. Someone's coming out for some apparent reason. For everyone who's on the pad, it's their worst nightmare. For everyone oh, who's on the wheel. It's amazing because I've got no game sound. <sighs> I did this last time. Someone needs to uh, message AMS Wildcard to tell him to retire. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Taken care of. Good old boy. <laughs> Obviously, this qualifying session doesn't really mean anything. Oh, he's just, he's just binned it into the wall. Come on, lads, start uh, retiring yourselves and get straight into Q2. Whether it's going to be dried up, we were on intermediates, so not sure what the second part of qualifying is going to be like. Hopefully, it's hopefully it is raining because that will just spice up a lot of things. Just waiting for three more people to retire now. And then we can get on with things. If John, if John gets on now, he'll be alright. Yeah, um, still heard nothing from him, so I'm still assuming he's going to be a no show. If anyone's wondering who John is, he is currently the constructor, not constructor, oh he is actually constructor leader with Ramsey, but he's also drivers, uh, currently leading the drivers championship as well, so he's going to miss, be missing out a lot on points. Um, if Dan wins, then he will go top, um, but anything below first, then John just about uh, stays. On. And there we go, we finally have everyone retired. Um, no point really doing a screenshot for this as um, everyone's obviously made it through. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, um, with that said, um, battle for pole. Who do you think is going to get it? Ah, uh, it's a tough one, but I think it's either going to be. Uh 
Dan or George Keith. That's my predictions. I was, to, I was going to say that exactly the same. Obviously, pole position around this track is pretty much a must. Um, yeah. Obviously, what I did mention, Monaco is one of the hardest tracks. Uh, and we still have wet qualifying, so that will spice up a lot of things. Um, whether it dries up going into Q3, we obviously don't know uh, until we actually get there. Um, that will also spice up a lot of things. So we could see um, some surprises in Q2, I believe. Um, obviously, Bond will want to be getting out of Q2. He's not had the greatest of all qualifying sessions recently. Um, so it'll be good to see him get through because obviously we do interview drivers I still don't have game style I don't think no I don't god damn it <coughs> this is going to be interesting and here they come out sorry about the I've got no game sound so you aren't going to be able to hear any of the cars unless it's my settings Someone has already lost their front wing coming out the pits. Already? I believe it was the Red Bull of Elias. 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 No, Elias has got his front wing. It might have been one of the Mercedes. Oh no, it was Sink Dan. Oh, He's got his uh, left front um, end plate missing, so he's going to be wanting to come in this lap, uh, obviously to change that front wing because yeah. you need as much downforce as you can around this track, especially in the rain. <laughs> yes, it's definitely. Uh, so who was first out? Was it? It was a uh, uh, Ramsey, I believe. Yeah, it will be. So we'll ride on board with Ramsey. Or the another shocker uh, in Q2 and Q1. Interviewed him quite a few times. We'll be looking to get a good lap around Monaco. Oh, that's Mercedes! That was Lucas A. That was, uh, yeah, uh, Lucas A spun around. Typical, my brother. Lost, he's definitely lost parts of his way. I'm not sure. What yeah, it's... Oh, he's just blocked. George Key there. I hope and the Ferrari's on the same thing. The Ferrari of uh, uh Bonge Bond. spun it as well. <laughs> oh, Bonge. <laughs> oh. He's got it round, oh. so. And Aiden's left. Right I'll try to get him back in. So, conditions already proving to be very slippery around here. Um, let's see how Ramsey's doing. Still, I think he's lost a bit of his front wing, actually. Yeah. Just about slows it down into the chicane. <coughs> yeah, he's... Oh, no, he hasn't. He's got his front wing, that's fine. Very close to the barrier there. Coming into the last chicane now. Oh, and he's done a Max to stop him. Ooh. <laughs> that's... Someone else has put it into the barrier. <laughs> this isn't um, going to plan for a lot of these drivers. So eight, yeah, Ramsey a lot of drivers are struggling at the moment. 128.2. Uh, Elias starting his lap. Richard cutting the chicane. Uh, who's next across the line? I think it's. Ricky. Oh, he's validated the map. So it'll be King Gamers coming around the last corner. I think he's just had to back off this lap with a car ahead of him. I think. Oh, no, no. Coming up to the line, it's a 123.4. Lovely lap. Not too shabby of a lap. Um, I still don't have game sound, so 
Bond crossing the line. This was off onto P3. Obviously, he did have a bit of a spin, and he's nearly just spun it again. Uh, George Key <coughs> coming into the uh, tunnel now, coming up to the hard braking chicane. Oh, he's completely missed the apex of that one. He coming round to finish his lap. I don't know if that was a corner cut there. Kind of looked like it, but it's very close to the barrier there. Coming around the last corner now. Elias coming Runs with a 124.6. Jorky with 124.6. Basically matching the red ball there. Got a yellow flag out there somewhere. This car is just letting everyone through. Uh, yeah, it's uh, well gamers. Card. Going for another lap right now. He's invalidated it once again. <coughs> Lucas Aid's back out. Let's see what Dan's doing. Going into the swimming pool, swimming pool, sorry. Nearly lost the back end there, scrapes up against the barrier. Oh, I think he's invalidated it. Coming up to the line now. 123.6. Oh no, 123.8, sorry. This is off into second. Lucas A has got the car of the Haas, but he's moving out of the way. Um, <sighs> wild card coming through the swimming pool now. Basically, like a swimming pool out there at the moment. Carrying round. Into the last corner now, he pulls into the pits. I may have to quickly jump out of the game to get my game sound back. Oh, if you do that, alright, give me a second. Sorry guys, right. I just have to quickly leave the session and uh, try and get my game sound back. Because I don't have it. I think it's because he's set it as an invite only. It uh, kind of messes it up. Uh. I think, I think that's the reason. Should just be able to get back into spectate mode. Yeah. Hopefully we'll have game sound now. George has had that, had that problem just before. Uh, he actually got into the lobby, he had no game sound, so. Game, but I'm hoping just leaving the session helped me last time, so I think it will help me this time as well. We'll find out. No, still don't have game sound. Oh, there don't. Yay, there we go. Yay. There we go, thank God. Right, I need to turn down. Please. Everyone complains that it's too loud. <coughs> right, so now that we have game sound up, who is on a lap? Uh, Joel's Rossi, Aiden, and Lucas Aiden. Oh, about to cross the line now. Aiden putting the second. A nice lap right there. 123.8. Another invalidated lap from Joel's there. Um, Tony hasn't actually left. I guess he has he's just left now. Um, what a slow moving. Oh, that's it, Dan. Oh, what's a nice laugh from Dan right there. 122. Very quick lap. 
be a second quicker. Um, Rossi about to come up to finish his lap. Making it very clean. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I think he's uh, invalidated it. Here we go again though. Lining it up. Yeah, I believe he invalidated it, the Novel Chicane. Yeah. Ran slightly yeah. wide. I've done a bit of practice earlier and uh Oh, Jordan Key spun it. Was he? Yeah, down by Casino. Oh. Doesn't look like he has front wing damage, but he definitely was facing the wrong way. Uh, now his front wing looks absolutely fine. On the helicopter. That is when he looks fine. Um. It was on an out map, so uh, it cost a huge amount of time. Um, Richard so starting his lap. He's got a lot of food to pull with it. That's uh, Bond is now coming out. Rossi. Oh, hits the wall. There's got a Ferrari ahead of him now. Chalky. Very, very slippery out there. Rossi coming up to cross the line now. The one to P3. A bad luck. Um, Tony. Ooh, that might have been a cut right there. That's also really deep in the rats cast. There's no Not the line no you want. Errors, I don't think. There's no errors whatsoever. That invalidated. Yeah. I think you just invalidated that slap as well. Uh, Richard. Crossing the line, 128. Ooh, he's hit the ball. Dan has improved to a 121.9. Dang. That is rapid. That is mega quick. Oh, we've got uh, Tony going off at the Ros Rosberg corner. I think Dan has got, I think, the Red Bull of AMS Wildcard has improved to a 121.3, up to P2. You mean a 123.9? That's what I meant, yeah. <laughs> He's retired. He should be safe for that time to make it in a Q3. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see many people improve. Joel, uh, Joel's and Tony will want to improve on these laps. Tony and does have a broken front laps. wing, though. Oh, I think he's going to find him up there. He's going to go again. No? He's, yeah, he's going for another lap. Risking it. Joel's going uh, to get a lap together here. One shot, I think, just accepting P14. Still in the pits. Yeah. And he won't get a penalty. He has turned up, so... Whether you want to set a lap or not, it's up to you. We'll see set your lap. Oh, Big slide Joel's. from Joel's. I think his qualifying's over. Yeah, his qualifying's over, so he yeah. will be... Yeah. ...which is retired. I mean, he might actually get through here. If he can get through. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's got invalidated. I mean, he has got enough time to go again, though. Just needs to put a lap on the board. Doesn't have to be a good one. Just starting the 128.5. Oh.
on oh, improved to uh, P6. Okay, he's fresh. <sighs> Luckily, very, very low down. Dan knows he's already through. Uh, one shot's also on. Joel needs to put a lap in here. He will be the last person to. He will be the last person to, but he needs to improve. That might be a cut there. See. Nope, he's still good. That's right. He's on for a lap that could push Lucas Aid down. Looks clean. I mean, all he needs to do is get these final corners done. Lovely. He should see himself through. It could be a very quick lap here, actually. Be up there with Dan's time. Which is something to P2! A lovely lap. So that does Impressive. unfortunately push Lucas Aid down. Uh, I'm not sure where the cutoff position is, obviously, going to this Q1. Um, I think Jorky might be a bit of. I think he might go to Ramsey actually, because it'll take five out, won't it? So, I believe. Obviously, we'll find out uh, next. Yeah. Just wait for King Gamers to uh, do something because he's sat in the galleries right now. We do need to get the. <laughs> okay, he's got the game sound, that's why he's to leave. I don't know why that's a thing on this game now. Right, so Ramsey's through. So that's alright. Um, who would you like to uh, talk to? Let's get Dan in here. No, I mean from the people that have gone out. Uh, probably Lucas Aid. Lucas Aid, okay. Yeah. Let's get him in. I can find him. There he is. He might die. <coughs> I need a screenshot this actually. Hello, Lucas Aid. Yes, uh, we're going to have a quick interview with you. Uh, obviously, qualifying not going to plan. Um, only just missed out on Q1. Uh, not sure how. But obviously, um, obviously, I'm not sure what the race is going to be like. Obviously, don't tell us because we want it to be a surprise. But it looks like Hopefully, it's dry. Be in Q3. Hopefully dry, so that means it's going to race. Dry. So. Um, obviously, your teammate obviously not making it through either. Uh, not even setting a lap. Which is obviously, no. a big shame to uh, obviously uh, your constructors. Um, are you are you feeling good for the race, or are you just hoping? I'm not. I, the reason I wasn't as good as I should be in qualifying. It's because I wasn't handling the car right. You probably see um, in the stream that I was losing by a back end, plus I was held, uh, holding up the rest of the grid as well. So he did notice a uh, casual spin at the last corner. And then, yeah, uh, um, I lost my front wing coming out of the pit lane, like the right oh, on orange. You weren't the only one. And then when I got to around to the last corner, I spun and I held nearly everyone up. And then I saw to yeah, my yeah. right that uh, Bonge SD also had a little bit of spin in the same corner as I did. Yeah. But yeah. Die hard. But um, obviously starting P11, so not that far off the points positions. Obviously. Well, let's see how the race goes. You know, you know, 
or crash out was uh, is a very tight track with Monaco. Any plans Obviously on surviving turn one? Take it slow. Let Ed one. Just let Ed one out. I would take Ed one out. So if if I manage to get out of it, then I'm kind of happy. But I'm good on a different strategy. So uh, I just looked through the weather. It's actually going to be dry for the race, actually. So oh, you just ruined it. I told you not to tell us. <laughs> but you never know. But you just well, told everyone us. Else, so. Everyone else will know that. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, but well, we didn't. Because we'd like to keep it surprised, don't we, Doe Hard? You yeah. know what's going to happen. You know what races are like. Hard, One minute they're wet, next to dry. It's the same as qualifying. It's dry, and wet. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, battle for pole now. Who do you think is going to grab it? Let's see. Um, I saw Sink Dan have a really good qualifying in Q2, mm, so hopefully to uh, so. see Sink Dan get on pole. Like, obviously, uh, John is obviously not racing tonight, so it's gonna be. I reckon it's gonna be Sink Dan, unless yeah, someone could pull it out of the bag and absolutely yes, smash it. Up. So, obviously, as you said, it is gonna be dry in the race, so it obviously it'd be a lot different, obviously. We'll see if it was raining, it would be a hell of a lot harder. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not very happy for... so far, so... Oh, well, my game see... just... Oh, oh. Elias just hit the ball. My game is going to say. That was lovely. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Alright, well, thank you for the... Obviously, you are more than welcome to stay with us till the end. I'm going to join back to the others. Alright, right, man. Hey, Good luck in the race. Thank you. Good luck, Good luck. Bye. <coughs> Believe it or not, he's the first person to actually leave after having a rough qualifying. Yeah. Well, now we know the race is dry. Any predictions? Yeah. I mean, what for the podium? Yeah. Um. I think Dan's gonna win it. Uh, obviously, he's just been topped by Jorky at the moment, so uh, anything obviously can happen. Uh, but I think it all depends who gets that pole position if they can get off the line cleanly. Um, personally, I think Dan's gonna win, Jorky in second, and then I'm gonna go with Aiden third. Um, and then below that, I think Bond will score some very decent points. Uh, he needs it, he wants to need to do some racing. I don't know if he votes for Monaco or not. Um, I'm hoping he does. Um, but it's all kind of where they sit at on where the next job is. Very, very deep. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely an validation. <sighs> I think he uh, slowed down to let everyone back through anyway. Um, so the Ferraris, Bond obviously on a lap. Got his teammate of Jorky right behind him. Get through the last corner clearly this time. And where's this going to put him? Puts him to P5. Um, fairly good lap. I mean, he, I think he can improve. Um, so whoever's watching, hello and welcome. Uh, if you haven't, if you didn't know already, we've got myself, SV Gorilla. And uh, newbie for SVOR, uh, SV Diehard, uh, 24 fan. Oh, and Bond is in the wall. That oh. Um, so, uh, for people that are watching, what are your um, predictions for the race? Who's going to put it in the top spot? Who's going to come second? Who's going to come third? Uh, we'd like to see uh, what you guys say. Uh, I would expect Bond. Uh, he may want to get out of the way of Elias. Oh, Elias is on an out -laffer. Um, haven't really seen any incidents worth the compromise. Obviously, Lucas A would admit that he held people up, but he obviously couldn't really do much about that. He was facing the wrong direction. Uh, obviously, he could have probably moved over, so the cars could get through, but... It's one of those Monaco. Really much. No yeah. space, one of those three teams and things. 
Oh, Tony is in the chat. Tony, you're useless. <laughs> oh, massive yeah, tank snapper from Rossi. Coming out turn one. Oh, Good save. He is. Uh, I think he is maybe one. Aiden is down by nine tenths. Three tenths. So George Key currently sitting nicely on ball position at the moment. Um, Aiden up into P3. Tony to crash out is my prediction. I predict that too. I reckon we're going to have quite a small number of people finish this race. I reckon I'm guessing we're going to have about like six, seven, or seven six. people. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to mind single leg. Gonna finish. Um, I think, oh, and that's Aiden into the wall. I believe. I don't know if he's got yeah. yeah he's missing the missing front left end plate. He's missing both of the plates, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he is. He is indeed. So he'll be coming in. He obviously has enough time to get in and put another set of the intermediates. Dan is uh, definitely struggling out there. Oh, that's a tank slapper into the first corner. Uh, cheers, big lad. Look at the AOR steward. It's all kicking off with me and Wolf. Uh, I'll have a look after the race, mate. Um, obviously, doing commentary, so. Uh, main part. I think uh, Elias just put himself into P5 there. Yes, he did. We have the <coughs> yellow flag and. Awesome. Tunnel. Uh, Joel's in the tunnel, so it's low. Joel's. Very. Warming up his tyres. Uh, Ramsey coming to complete his lap. He's the uh, King Gamers going across the line any second now. He's going to slip in. Oh, oh. he topples Jorky. Nice is, uh, King Gamers. Well, he's on his way out. So he's going to want to get that position back. Ramsey is going to be validating his lap. Yes, he has. So he'll be going again. Uh, obviously, he has enough time to get round and try and get back out again. Um, I think he's fueled up enough to go again. He's definitely got a lot of errors there. Obviously, he didn't really need to use that much errors around this track because there's not a lot of places where you can reach top speed. He has got a Ferrari of Jorky ahead of him. Hopefully, he will just slightly move over out of the way. Uh, Ramsey over through the hairpin. Obviously, very hard to do on the controller. I think that's also another invalidated lap there. Yeah, yes, it is. Uh, so, a lot of invalidation lap, invalidation, invalidated laps come on here. You wouldn't think you could invalidate around this track because it's a street circuit. But these drivers are certainly proving that you definitely can. <coughs> Especially in a way it's really tricky with uh, the Novel chicane and the uh, swimming pool section. It's very easy to just yeah. cut the corner slightly. The thing is with those corners that you need to I mean it's a very um, fine line between well, going fast and risking it or going yeah, slow and yeah. if you make one mistake into those kind of sequence of corners and it just messes up the whole complete line. Uh yeah. the going to the first corner. We'll go back on him a little bit later. Joel's about to cross the line actually. He goes at P1! Wow, 121.6. Oh, and wild card actually into P3 as well. Uh, I think King Gamers. I think St. Dan's out of. I think he's not, he's not got enough time. St. Dan coming out the pits, but he hasn't got time to get round. Um, Aiden should have enough time. Uh, let's get back on board with Ramsey because he's coming into. The tunnel section. Uh, Orange is going to want to improve. He's up off. by 1.9. Okay, What's going off in the pit lane? Uh, he's just it coming in the pits. Oh. Orange trying around the last corner. He's going to set a nice lap here. Should improve. It should push him up quite a uh, bit. Wild cards in the wall. Up the the last... Oh, he's going off. Oh. All those years ago. Right, let's have a look at Ramsey coming into the Dark last corner now. Pits. I think he's done. 
Oh, and Ramsey hits the barrier. Shouldn't cost him too much. I think he's going to start last in 10th here. Yeah. He is indeed. Barnes improved uh, Rossi. Uh, I think he... No, no, he's on a level lap. Uh, Rossi's on a lap, though. Uh, Joel's obviously retiring. Uh, obviously, first race, and he's put himself on pole. Let's see what Rossi can do coming into the... Oh, that's a big tank up there. Going into the last couple of the corners now. Let's see where this time is going to put him. Should boost him up a little bit further. I think P7, P7 pushes Bond and Elias down. Uh, Aiden, let's see what he's, he's two currently two tenths up. Uh, Ramsey is also on the lap. Oh, he's just hit the ball. Now oh, he's not on the lap. <coughs> That's qualifying over from Bonge. Definitely improving in his qualifying. I'm not sure what he's actually completed the lap, but okay. Uh, see where Aiden is currently two tenths up. Uh, so this could put him above Sink Dan. And potentially Jorky. Depends on his last corner. Nice flowing part there. Into the line. P3. To P3. Good lap for me. That's a great lap. Also, uh, we uh, just did the full on commentator's curse. Good job, Miller. Oh, uh, the reason why Sink Dan couldn't get out in time is because gamers came into the pit and held oh, him up, unfortunately, so... Unlucky. <clears throat> Very unlucky. So, there's a, quite a big gap from P1 to P2. I don't know if you can hear my drink opening. It's very, very hot in the UK right now. <sighs> temperatures of, like, 31 degrees. I hate it when my bottle does this. You know when you're yeah, opening a bottle and you crying. have like the lid and then you've got that other bit that like attaches it to the bottle? Yeah. Like, just, that always comes up. It annoys me. <sighs> so dry race. Um... So are, we, are you still sticking with Dan winning this race? Uh, it's going to be interesting for Dan and Jordy now. Kevin and Cub. I know it's a dry through. race. We've already been told by some bot. Probably got eight people watching at the moment. It's always nice. If it goes to nine, I'm just expecting that it's John. Probably. <clears throat> Obviously, didn't have the greatest of all races yesterday in DRL. But we won't talk about that too much. Because he's probably going to watch this race back. And he's probably going to kill me. Yeah. But um, obviously you're a part of DRL as well. Obviously as well as myself. Obviously in a different tier. Um, obviously yeah. I do stream for your tier. And do commentary as well. So. Uh, you do. Oh and that's Joel with a five second time. Hang on. Who's watching? Oh, JJ's watching. Uh, another member of SV. Because <coughs> SV is taking over. That's what you got to say, okay? We're taking over DRL. We literally have. Hey, we're not taking over. We already took over. Oh, see. This guy knows. So the votes. Uh, oh, the qualifying lap is starting. Uh, obviously, Joel's prime position to win this race. Pardon me. Ugh, I've got a hair in my mouth. Pardon me. Oh, so, who do you think is going to get the best start of the whole grid? Hard. 
Recruits? No! We're not recruiting Steve. Bugger off. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I said, um, who do you think is going to get the best start off the line to gain as many uh, as you can? I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Gamers. So you think he'll... Oh, that's yeah. Jorky. So that's the one on the formation up. That might that's hurt right, Jorky right, on the start. <laughs> Everyone's lining up. Where is the final car? Oh, so we've got. Oh, Jake didn't get to set a lap, unfortunately. He uh, joined a little bit late. So we've got no lights currently. One, two, three, two, three four, four, five. five. And it's. Go! Ranzi jumped the start. Ramsey. And what is going on with Joel? He's had a terrible start. Everyone's cutting the first one. Uh, for George Key, let me just get faces. Surprisingly clean for turn one. Yeah. Joel's is already in the tenth. King Gamers, as you said. Nightmare said, start for him. At the start. Oh, yeah, we've got some. Originals going at the back, I think. One shot's already into last, and we've got a. Traffic jam. One shot going around the outside of Jake. That was a lovely move, even though everyone was basically sticking. So six tenths covers first and second. George Key into P3. I'm sure that's a great um, start that he wanted. But he has got Rossi behind him, and we all know what's happened between them two over the last week. Oh, and that's wild card into the wall. Oh, not what he wanted. Oh, the Jordi, I believe, also might have gone the wall. It's lost position to Rossi. Yeah, I think it's just been a slight mistake. Wild cards into the pit. Obviously, we will probably expect to see Ranzi going through the pit lane. Yep. There was drive through for jumping at the start. Jordi is going to get past his SV compatriot here. Uh, let's put Bonches in fifth, actually. He's had a great start. I think Dan not having the greatest of all laps either. He's lost. He's lost one position. Joel's having a terrible start, losing seven yeah. at the start of this race. Uh, Bond and up. Rossi both up four spots. Great starts for them. Yeah. I think they're the biggest winners out of everyone here. There they are. Uh, Tony gaining up three positions actually. Um. As far as Bonge right behind, like Bonge. Oh, and Bonge! Oh, and Bonge just won it. Clip the curb, or clip the wall on entry. This is the last of front row. There's a tire on the back of the wall. Yeah. Uh, so that'll give Jordki a little bit of space, but he is hunting down Rossi right now. Oh, and that's someone in. I think Rossi just. Oh, and Rossi, Rossi's wing! The George Key's back up to P3. DRS is now activated. Uh, Lucas one. in. Lucas Aid's in. Front wing, I'm guessing. Yeah, front wing is yeah. being changed. And a set of the mediums coming onto that car. Obviously, the Mercedes right at the top. He's going to be stone dead last, which he is. The uh, Red Bull of and Richard. Oh, oh, and one, one shot shot up. retired. Turn one claims its first victim. Richard's got, got a major front wing damage. Best thing about Monaco, you know there's going to be crashes the wall. Yeah. Let's uh, ride on board with Joel's here. Um, probably making his way back up the pack. Too far behind. 
That's Elias with a three second top. Oh, and that's Rossi in the way. Oh, there's a bit of pushing. Oh, and Dan's in the pits Dan. as well. Dan's into the pits. Everything is happening right now, and it's amazing. Uh, what's that bomb? Tony, or Jake's oh, yeah, in the pits fun. now. Oh, Jake's got rolling damage. It's chaos out there. You just need to keep it clean and you'll be absolutely fine. Top f four, top five are doing very well, keeping out of trouble. Joel's making the move on Elias and the Mirabo. Just onto that. There we go. has lost quite a bit of time this lap. Tony. Battle for the lead. Everyone's. Aiden's about half a second behind. Yeah, that's reactivated. If you just want to uh, go through everyone's numbers for me, if that's possible. Oh, and I think that's Ramsey into the ball. Yes, it is. Um, has he got front wing damage? Yes, he has. Or he's saying. Left really? side. Uh, could you just go through everyone? Obviously, I've sent you the list of numbers. Uh, yeah. The only person I don't think has a number is Joel. Is just, yeah. uh, just go through everyone's numbers and just make sure what everyone's it? got it. And if there isn't, uh, just write it down on like, a bit of paper yeah. on your phone and just send it to me after the race. Uh, cheers, Dan. See, Dan's back in the pits. Nightmare for him so oh. far. Championship is helping. This is helping John out. He's saving a three second time penalty. We will um, get that 10th place as Ramsey is he's still going out. I don't think he has that much damage that he needs to pit. <laughs> oh, well, that's Tony. Cliff <laughs> in the wall there. Um, oh, he's all the way up to P4. So he's starting to gain those positions back that we lost at the start. But obviously, with a load of help of cars, that's Lucas Aid being overtaken by Jake there into the chicane. Tony and Wildcard trading places, and that's like a three second time penalty for Tony. Gap between Aiden and Gamers is slowly uh, increasing. Oh, not that much now, it's now decreased. Um, what the hell have you got going on? Not a lot, really. But the Aiden. And King Gamers. King Gamers looking for his, I think, second win of SVOR. That's Bonge. Another second time Corky's starting to get a gap to his Joel's. Joel. Joel. Wildcard nearly into the wall. This is Tony flipping for six seconds. <laughs> so they see themselves getting the squad of. Oh! Well, that's a lot of wrong damage. I'm expecting him to probably pick this lap. Getting hassled by Jake here. 
Dan's about to be lapped. Everyone looks to be running the right numbers so far. Yeah, it's fine. I probably kind of imagined that we just went way too late going into the first corner. Uh, straight up past Ramsey into the chicane. Moves straight up into the points. Uh, Tony's pitting. Yeah, he's got no front line. Kind of um, muted himself. So I move these two guys up. Move his aid up into 11th. Just need to keep it clean. And then just wait for the mistakes to happen. Uh, Aiden within DRS once again. We've got another yellow flag out there. Who's that for? Uh, would be oh, Dan and Dan's back again. in again. Have a key. Oh, he's yeah. retired. Yeah. Uh, Bonge has been overtaken. I think Bonge has made a mistake somewhere, I think. I tend to agree with that. <laughs> What's up? Uh, front oh, wing Tony. at the hairpin there. Tony's. Probably Tony's, yeah. Yeah. He'll probably be coming in once again. Big shame for Sink Down, obviously, in that championship battle. So, that kind of secures John's first place in the championship once again. For another week, obviously. Break week next week, so everyone gets a little bit of a breather. Until we go again, uh, that's Jake. I don't know if he's yeah. uh, obviously, back for Canada. Yes. Next track. You got a big and opportunity then, here, though, from people like Gamers, Georgie, and Elias that close down the championship yep. lead. Obviously, Aiden. Obviously won out last week, obviously making his debut race last week. Uh, currently second, but all over the back of King Gamers at the moment. Um, which could definitely help his championship, obviously. Not in a championship fight just yet. Uh, obviously he did miss the first Tony needs to get the way uh, four races. Oh, and that's... Tone? Oh, he had a lag incident. That's a lot of lag from Tony. Yeah, I just noticed that. Uh, Bond is in. I don't think it's for something. It's come out very comfortable. Yeah. I see Van Z being quite a fair old distance back. So Bonge will probably most likely go to the end of these ties. Bearing any incidents. And Aiden's in. I think he's uh That's an stop. early stop, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, they're putting a new yeah. thing on. George Key has picked up a three right. second penalty. That could uh Camper room at the start. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Dan, if you've got a clip, mate, just uh, send it in to the stewards. Um, or wait until the race is finished and then we'll get you the, uh, all the stewards. It's myself, which obviously SV Gorilla with a 0 and 11 0. Uh, SV. The SV Die Hard on Twitter now? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, it's gonna be um, Matt Freeman 24. Uh, and then obviously BMG Nomad. Uh, if you need to follow him, I'll, I'll get him to follow you back and you can send us the clips. Um, I, I'm trying to get the field to count for you guys, but I can't remember where I sent it to the other guys, so I have no idea.
Oh, and Joel's has got a front wing damage. Coming in. And a three-second three second penalty second. to go with it. Aiden's picked up a three-second penalty. Well, this is definitely helping Joel now. Oh, Aiden's going to spit again. He crept getting down the hearts. Tony with a t how do you get it? Wait, did he tense? start on the hards, did he? No, Aiden pitted already and then went out on the hards to go to the end and hit something again. Oh. I was on board with Jones at the time. Do you mean mediums, by the way? He went out on the hards after he, he started oh. on the mediums, went to the hards, and now it's back on the mediums. I mean, I could get into it. Should be able to, it might be a little tight. Yeah. If needs be, you can just go on to the softer compound to the end, get the fastest lap. That's Ramsey in. I'm guessing probably hard till the end. Obviously, he does have to change his front wing. They weren't even ready for him. Unless it was a big pitch. Oh, it wasn't. This game is so... That moves Lucas Aid up into P10. AMS wildcards missing a front <coughs> Davis front left end plate. Who's that? Tony. Tony's also been luck. We just see who's up. Uh, Lucas Aid, Randy, Everyone Richard, and Tony. Aid. Yeah. Uh, Bonjour's close to that. That obviously can go as... Oh, oh, Tony's geez. tired. I believe that Fancy. was in the pits. Uh, I think he crashed out on track. Oh. Three. Oh, yeah. Castle. Or not uh, uh, English. Castle. Swimming pool. Yeah. Wrong street circuit. My bad. Ugh. I'll tell you what. Uh, Jorky can now actually see King Gaming Top Road. Uh, it does have Lucas Aid in the middle of this, so Lucas Aid will have to move over out the way. Jorky, 2.1 down on his fastest lap. Uh, probably going to expect these guys to be coming in very soon. Um, Elias, I believe, still needs to pit. Yes. So just the top three need to pit now. And everyone's had their mandatory pit stop. Um, another yellow flag. Can't really see anyone. I mean, if someone pits now, then we'll know. That's another. This is Lucas A getting out of the way. I think it was Lucas A getting out of the way, I think. Just draw keys now fast him. There's last corner, there's a yellow flag. <clears throat> no one's coming to the pit, so... Yeah. I've got a slightest clue. game is going around the last corner now, to start with 15 flat. One thing um, I'm impressed about King Gamers, he doesn't have a warning yet, even. It's been perfectly yeah. clean so far. George Key does have a three second penalty. Uh, Elias has a three second penalty. I think most of the field have a penalty. At least, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember if there's any penalties to be added into this race. I don't think the drivers that have received them are actually racing tonight. So. Oh, no, uh, wild no. card has got past the Elias for third. Yep. Elias will probably most like. Ooh, that's the King Gamers getting very close to all that. Uh, probably expect them to pit this lap. No, King Gamers carries on. What we're going to do stays out. Um, 
goals of all. Ooh! Flying the accelerate and really putting yourself into the ball. Probably won't be too long until we see a move here. Fourth, fourth place. That's another yellow flag. Uh, Bond just binned it. Bond, yeah. Yeah. Expecting to see him in. Yeah, he's got no fitness whatsoever. Yeah. Three second and a three penalty. second penalty to boot. Uh. I mean, realistically, only two drivers need to crash out and then Bond taking some evasive action on the first one. We'll be seeing him get the up. Um, obviously, I think Jord and King Gamer is a very comfortable when it comes to pitting. Uh, Bonds will now be lapped as well. <coughs> uh, Rand's using the wall again. I think the only person that's actually kept that wall is King Gamers and Jorky. I would agree. Wild card and is wild card hitting. Is and and yep. Joel's is in. Oh, well, they're both paying for front wings. This, this is just helping Jord and King Gamers here. Elias to still pit. And then Jord and King Gamers is pit as well. This is going to be probably Aiden back up to four. Quite a distance behind Rusty up at the P5. Bumping uh, the hash driver and, well, both AMS actually. Yeah, sort of last second, it looked like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, he's got front wing damage. Lies has. So he'll probably come in this lap, most likely. Yeah, obviously front two is still carrying on. Let's see what Elias does. He's uh, very known for finishing P3, and that's another three second time. That's another three second time for life. He carries on. That's mm, interesting. He's taking the risk. He's another oh, yellow another flag. yellow flag. Uh, Joel's at the chicane. Doesn't appear to have damage, but fine. Oh, he does have damage out. He's just intentionally crashed out. Noted. Well. I don't know why he wanted to crash out. He Any points are better than no points. That was his first race as well. Plus he also did ready up before Jordki. Yeah. So that's gonna be quite a hefty ban. The game is sliding all over the place though. Ooh. I think his tyres are going off now. Uh, with um, the numbers, is everyone alright? Yeah, everyone looks alright. Everyone's alright. Okay. The only one I couldn't see was a uh, one shot because he retired in like lap two. Uh, yeah, he was fine. Yeah. I, I checked his number in. Um, the race at the start. Uh, so, wild card overtaking Rossi there. That's a move, actually. Well, Jordan King Gamers have got the depth now. Jordan King yeah. staying out. Hey, it's going very long on these tyres. 
<laughs> oh, and the Aiden also has some pretty major front wing damage. That's Richard with another 3 7 target on him. Right there, it's got basically no ring. Just gonna put him down a little bit. Obviously, don't give up. Still. A fair way to go for the world. Bonch and Lucas say it's side by side going up the hill. Oh. Keeps it clean. Some wheel bang. Rough. <laughs> oh god. Just don't take each other. Bonch is missing a bit of his front wing. I don't know about Lucas Aid. Um. Oh, Jordan Key picked up another penalty. I think it's fine. Yeah, he's fine. So Bonge has heartbroken front me. Uh, Aiden lost the spot to Wildguard. Up <coughs> to stay out. Good. I would say he could be in for the win here, but with the penalty. Those ponies are going to hurt him. Maybe. Not sure how long a pit stop is now, Monaco. <coughs> 25 seconds or something, isn't it? Roughly, I'd say about that. 25. Oh, and Lars is in. <coughs> we'll find that now. Question is will King Gamers make a mistake? That's the only way I see Jorky winning this race. Front wing. This is a very, very long stop. We'll see. Good front wing damage as well. So that, uh, Jake's kind of, yeah, kind of frees up. Jordan King Gamers. And Jordan's closing up. So I think that's a sign that the tyres are slowly coming to an end. <coughs> All King Gamers needs to do is just keep it. Lucas A's back in the pits. Another stop. Make sure they're number three to the tyres on Ooh, Bonds has more front wing damage now. Missing both end plates. Just needs to keep going. Give him more points. He doesn't want to pit though. No, he would have been fine. We're staying out. Need 1.1 1 .1 now to separate some two drivers. <clears throat> I would personally probably pick this lap. And then just do tires of the both of them. They're both on medium compounds, so Jones is left. I think George is trying to pressure King into a mistake. Who's actually watching this stream? <coughs> Bond is in. Luke is able to move up to P8. And Richard. Right, Bond is out already. So just needs to keep it steady. That's Randy on the three second time, can't we? Really, I gotta go with this 
jawed all over the back of King Gamers. Could be very interesting. Obviously, Jaw does have, I think, six seconds worth of penalties. So you would need to pass him and get that gap. Um, really get overcut. Works quite well round here. Already with the back of Lucas Aid. Pitched into the pit. Runs up to P10. in. Oh, that's a five second time penalty. Oh, he's got family damage as well. He's going to be out of the way ahead. Soft to the end. in that fifth place position. See quite a bit. Uh, 15 laps to go. I should expect. Oh, and King Gamers has hit the ball. Oh, it's a massive shame he's going to be pitting this lap. There's Jorky and all this. He's going to be a Novell chicane, I think. We know the names of the corners from the current. And Gamers has just got into his pit box. Broad Key coming round effectively the last corner. King Gamers is just being left out of his pit box. It's going to be very, very tight. Broad Key takes the lead! Got a lot of seconds to gain now, though. for draw to still keep the hold of P2 as Gamers gets 12 seconds worth of time in the next
to be sending news to the first place there, though. We're dealing with the fastest off the race. Good move from us here from the outside. It's a miracle to hold on to that second place. Zade up to P8. And Bond is in. And our front wing. Oh, he can get a spun. Oh, 
Dr. Jordan a hell of a lot now. He needs to get those seconds up though. If he wants to win this race. Wild card with a three second time penalty. Great with a three second time penalty. to the wire. Jordan needs to start coming out that gap. Plays into the pits. Nice little soft. One drop of three second time for Nottie. Oh, Richard's into the wall. Three seconds. <laughs> At this right draw key will still be finishing. E Free. <laughs> Start picking up the face though. seat uh, after his impressive dis display last week. He'll be picking up his first win as well. This man's getting out of the way. Even 
think about getting this race win. <coughs> and he's just falling off. to go again Davis would actually still be in this race. Chicane here. We'll go for it. Around the outside. Oh! Well, I'll get through now. The game is having a bit of a. Oh, and Wildcard is retired! 
And Jorky wins! Oh! King Gamers is crushed out and Jorky wins the Monaco Grand Prix! What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Someone care to explain? Um. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, Jerky actually got that. Fair play, man. Yeah, um... <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> um, it's called a pipe Monaco, baby! Come on! <laughs> right, hang on. Let me just invite everyone. <laughs> <sighs> and where who came oh it's Aiden isn't it um uh <laughs> so what exactly wait for... <laughs> no we'll, we'll I would... wait we'll wait until Aiden joins and then yeah. we'll ask if he does join, obviously. <clears throat> um. Think he's joining. Uh, we'll give it a couple of more minutes just to. Uh... Well, we'll start off with you anyway, Jord. Um, I counted that you had. What was it 17 seconds worth of penalties at the end, I think? And somehow, <laughs> you, you've won the Monaco Grand Prix with second and third crashing. On, on the, the last, last corner. corner and on the pitch straight. Um, so obviously, um, just tell us what on earth happened. <laughs> um, uh, I don't really know. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll start from Quali. So Quali obviously in the wet. Um, I could have gone quicker. I could have had pole, but I screwed up my last lap and got damaged. Um, got a good start, like nailed the start. Got up to P3. Um, had, a, had a sketchy moment on lap one coming out of the swimming pool, got a half spin, um, but you know, didn't get any damage. And then it was just settling into, into a rhythm. Um, I saw that I think it was Aiden was battling with um, King Gamers, and then Aiden looked like he got damage, uh, pitted, and he was at the race. And it was just a case of I was slowly but surely eking away at the gap to King Gamers. Um, on, on the lap that I wanted to come in for my pit stop, I clicked the wall um, and I and I was like, ah, oh, no, I've screwed it. 
but I pit pitted um, and the undercut worked a treat, even with a front wing change. Ended up coming out ahead of King Gamers. Um, then he was all over my rear end. Um, King but Gamers I, also had a wing damage as well, by the way. Yeah, um, I, I, I guess that in the end. Um, and then coming into the new Val Chicane, King Gamers tried to move. He backed out of it. Like there, there was no contact between us, and then he's clipped the inside wall, spun himself round. Um, so I'm just there, like, oh my god, oh my god. And then I see Wildcard closing the gap, and then with about three laps left, um, I my car decided to play ping pong uh, at to back to back. Um, so I had like a fully orange full front wing, was losing all the time in the world. Then last lap coming into Nouval, um, Wildcard just decides he's going to completely rear end me hit me into the wall. I had, a, I had literally no front wing left. Um, I was trying to follow him as best as, I tried to follow him as best as I could. And then all of a sudden, last corner, I see him in the wall and I'm just like, what the hell is going on? Um, <laughs> Cross the line. And then I, I was waiting for King Gamers to come by because I knew he didn't have any penalties. And then he lost it in the wall. And I was just like, you have got to be kidding me. This is the weirdest end into a race ever. Um, but yeah, Monaco, let's have it. Let's, let's have it, boys. Come on. This has put me right back in the title fight now. Right back in. Let's get it. Well, that's two wins in two nights for yourself. Yeah, two and two, boys. Uh, two and two. Monaco next uh, next Sunday for yourself as well. So that must give you a lot of uh, hype and a lot yeah, of, yeah. Uh, I'm feeling hope. good. Just, just everything. Uh, but yeah, That's congratulations on the weirdest Monaco Grand Prix I've ever Congrats. had to commentate or ever watched. Uh, I'm guessing Aiden isn't joining. So uh, we'll skip, actually, I think we've got a message off him actually. Uh, uh, so basically he's just, uh, he's, he says his mic's broken, but he says just uh, stay happy uh, to get another podium. And unlucky to King and Wildcard. Uh, but yeah. Um, so we'll move on to the person who loves third place finishes, apparently. Uh, Elias, that's another third place for yourself. Um, I bet you wasn't expecting that on the last lap, was you? Uh, no. <clears throat> Not at all, no. I was um, <laughs> quite a while back and then suddenly across the line and it said third. And I was like, what on earth has just happened? But yeah, I was not expecting that. I mean, that was a very weird race for, I think, everyone. Um, I don't really know what else to say, really. Um, just congratulations to you both. And obviously, Aiden, who obviously can't be here without no mic. Um, hopefully, we get to have a bit more like that. Obviously, break week now. So, you can all go and party hard and relax a little bit more. Um, unless you're obviously you're racing within the week, I'm guessing. Um, I'd just like to say thank you to uh, SV Diehard for helping me out tonight. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, even thank though you. you weren't really here most of the time because you're doing other bits and bobs. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll that's that. it, guys. Uh, so until two weeks' time. We'll be at the Canadian Grand Prix, which will be very interesting. Another street circuit with the walls quite close to each other. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and see you.